Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Here are the fastest ways to increase testosterone naturally as fast as possible since not all methods increase testosterone at the same speed. Some take seconds, some take days, some take hours. So let's go. Sprinting. That's going to take seconds to minutes. If you go on the all out sprint, high intensity interval training, you're going to get a crazy increase in testosterone, anywhere from 10 to 30 percent, depending on the person, the intensity and other factors. And that's going to take place within seconds to minutes based on the literature. Now, obviously, the downside is that it's not going to stay elevated for a long time, but it will be up long enough for you to get the mental benefits of high testosterone, which is more strength, more energy, higher sex drive, more confidence, lower anxiety, on and so forth. Next. Listening to music, believe it or not, even though the research is mixed, some studies show an increase in testosterone, some show a decrease in testosterone, obviously depends on the type of music you listen to and how your brain perceives that music, but when it does increase testosterone, it's actually within minutes, especially if you listen to aggressive music or, or music that gets you fired up. If you listen to depressing music or sad music, or in some cases, classical jazz music, that actually lowers testosterone. Which makes sense because your body is trying to calm you down when you listen to relaxing, classical, jazz type music. Next, supplements and testosterone boosters. Obviously, that is a myth. Most testosterone boosters and most supplements that claim to boost testosterone do not work. The ones that do work are simply vitamins and minerals that you should be getting from foods anyway. But the vast majority of testosterone boosters and supplements that claim to increase testosterone do not work. It's a money grab. That's how these companies fleece you of your hard-earned money if you're eating a healthy diet and you're doing all the other basics the sleeping the stress management all that stuff most t-boosters do not work now the few that do work i made videos about them in the past so make sure you check them out but they're mainly herbal extracts right and even then they're way too overblown right they only work when you're already deficient in other things or when you're high in inflammation and things like that but if you're healthy if you're eating well most testosterone boosters do not work Next, sleeping. Obviously, that takes several hours. We all know how important sleeping is for testosterone, but the downside is it takes several hours. You're not going to get an instant increase in testosterone after a 30-minute nap, right? At least we don't have a lot of randomized control trials on this. But sleeping obviously takes 8 to 10 hours to maximize testosterone, right? As long as you're in deep REM sleep, that's going to be in this category here. Next, drinking coffee or taking caffeine. Believe it or not, that actually increases testosterone and also has anti-aromatase, quote-unquote, anti estradiol properties. Estradiol being the main estrogen, that is. And that tends to happen within minutes, depending on the caffeine dose, of course. But be careful because that also tends to increase cortisol. So you want to make sure that your testosterone to cortisol ratio is high and not low. Next, eating a healthy, micronutrient-rich diet. This one takes anywhere from several hours to days to weeks, depending on how bad your micronutrient deficiencies are. So I'm going to put that in days to weeks, right? If you start eating healthy, you're not going to notice a instant increase in testosterone. In some cases, you might actually see a small decrease in testosterone in a few hours after you eat, but I'll explain that in different videos. That's due to the increase in inflammation that happens because your gut health is so messed up, right? Almost anything you eat will decrease testosterone in the short term, right, within the next few hours, especially if your gut is inflamed. So once again, even though eating a high micronutrient-rich diet is the most important thing you can do for testosterone, you're not going to see the effects right away, right? It's going to take a while. Next, lifting very heavy weights, and I'm talking one to three rep max, right? Not high volume, just powerlifting type of training. That is actually a myth. Lifting heavy does not increase testosterone. It is only high volume compound movements. So high reps, short rest periods, that's what increases testosterone. Short term, that is. I'm not talking about long term. Now, long term, you're going to have a slight increase in your baseline testosterone levels if you live for a long time, but that's mainly because of the benefits of lifting, right? So lower inflammation, better blood flow, things like that. But as far as getting an instant increase in testosterone, that's not going to happen if you're lifting super heavy with low volume. I have to make that distinction. Next, Lifting heavy, but with high repetition, so high reps, 10 to 12 reps, short rest periods, compound movements that use as many muscle groups as possible, that increases testosterone a lot. And it's usually within minutes, right? So many studies on this. The biggest increase was, I think, a 130% increase. They did a bunch of leg curls, supersetted with uh, leg extensions. The more muscle mass you use, the shorter the rest periods, the higher the lactate, the higher the catecholamines. 
the bigger the increase in testosterone. Keep in mind, it's not long term. Right? It's not going to last for a long time. It goes right back to baseline within an hour. Now, in some studies, it was elevated for up to two days. But in most studies, the spike in testosterone you get from high volume, high repetition, short respiratory lifting, the spike goes back down within an hour or so. But again, the benefits are still there. You still get the mental benefits and you still get the activation of the androgen receptor. So it's not completely useless. Next, watching aggressive videos, aggressive clips, watching videos of people fighting, watching watching athletes doing aggressive stuff, anything that's aggressive, anything that activates your amygdala and perceives a threat, that's going to increase testosterone within seconds to minutes. And that's obviously common sense. The brain has evolved to increase testosterone in males whenever we perceive a threatening situation. So even though you're watching a clip, your brain sees it as a threat stimulus. And sure enough, your amygdala projects straight into your hypothalamus and also increases sympathetic nervous system activation, which is going to increase catecholamines, which are byproducts of obviously dopamine. And that's going to lead to an increase in intracellular CAMP leading to increased testosterone production, both from your adrenals and also your testes, right? And that happens so fast that it does not require luteinizing hormone, right? This is mainly independent of LH and GnRH, mainly because that pathway takes way too long. Next, winning. Winning any competition, whether it's physical competition, mental competition, does not matter. The literature is clear on this. Winning a competition leads to a huge increase in testosterone, which is seen within minutes. So that's going to go here. And obviously the reason is simple is because your body is priming you for reproduction. The body thinks that you just want to fight in the wild. So now it's time to defend your status, accumulate resources, capture the enemies. You know what? Blah, 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 blah. I obviously can't say it on YouTube because I'm going to get canceled. But hey, you know, human history was very brutal. After a man won a competition, he did not go to your hut to play dominoes with the females that were there. Right, he will conquer your tribe and do the most despicable things ever. So it's the same in the animal world. Again, humans are animals, so it's not surprising. And it's the same in the real world. Whenever somebody wins, the body increases testosterone like crazy so that you can move up the social ladder and start doing what testosterone does, which is accumulate power, accumulate status, clap cheeks, blah, 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 blah. That's nature pretty much saying, go ahead, you are qualified to pass on your genes. Next, cold shower or cold exposure. The researchers mix. Some studies show a decrease in testosterone. Some studies show an increase in testosterone. But that's because that's influenced by so many different factors. But in the ones that do show an increase in testosterone, it's usually visible within minutes, right? So whether you're icing your balls or whether you're doing cold immersion or doing a cold shower, as long as the temperature is low enough, you will get an increase in testosterone, mainly through the catecholamine pathway, right? So no epinephrine, no adrenaline, same molecule depending on where you live at. Next, getting sunlight both to your skin and obviously to your eyes because those are the two different pathways through which sunlight increases testosterone. It's not just through vitamin D. It's also through P53, which means both your skin and obviously your eyes need to be in contact with UVB rays in order for you to get the testosterone boosting effect. So like I always say, get sunlight in the morning through your eyes and later in the day, you want a lot of sunlight on your skin. I've been talking about this way before it was popular, so I'm glad to see that it's finally catching up. But this goes in a couple hours, right? It's going to take a couple hours to several hours before you get the increase in testosterone uh, from sunlight, but it is crucial. In some animal species, it actually takes several hours, so you'll be between here and here. Next, beating your meat. Where do you guys think this goes? If you watch my videos, you already know because there's no bro science here. It's nothing but facts. This actually increases testosterone, contrary to what all the clown influencers always tell you, and it does so within seconds to minutes. Yes, the complete opposite of what everyone has been telling you for years, lying to you, is what actually happens. Beating your meat, masturbation, actually leads to an increase in testosterone. And this has been observed so many times in so many different settings, which again, makes sense. Testosterone evolved for reproduction. And the brain has no idea whether you're beating your meat or whether you're clapping somebody. And obviously, there's some differences in prolactin spikes. So whenever you engage in sexual activities, doesn't matter what the activity is, the body increases your testosterone. Which brings us to the next one. What happens if you actually... Bust a nut, right? What happens if you ejaculate? Well, testosterone goes down, but not significantly below baseline. In fact, the reason why prolactin goes up after masturbation is to bring testosterone back to equilibrium, back to homeostasis. So when you be your meat or when you're about to have sex, testosterone goes up. And when you ejaculate, prolactin comes out in order to bring your testosterone levels back down within range. Idiots who don't know how the freaking human body works look at it and say, oh, look, prolactin lowers testosterone. Don't be your meat. Don't bust a nut. 
they have no idea that the decrease in testosterone is not a drop below baseline. It's a return to baseline. That's how your body keeps your homeostasis. It's the same thing that happens when you eat carbs, right? You get an increase in blood sugar, insulin comes out, insulin brings the blood sugar back down. The body's always looking for balance. So in short, semen retention, once again, is a myth. And it has been debunked a gazillion times, not just on my channel, but in so many experiments. In fact, the reverse is actually true. Men who go a long time without ejaculating actually get a decrease in testosterone. Same thing with men who go a long time without sexual activity. They get a drop in testosterone. When they return to sexual activity, their testosterone levels goes back up. So anybody who tells you that semen retention increases testosterone is a lying freaking clown and i cannot stand these people because they mislead entire generations of men now as always do not use this as a license to become addicted to porn right watch my videos on porn i've said this a million times porn is not the problem it is the symptom of a bigger problem fix the problem and the symptom which is porn addiction will go away right but stop being obsessed with this semen retention no fat bs fix the underlying issues first Next, blocking estrogens, right? Blocking estradiol, estrone, all the principal estrogens. That's going to increase testosterone, but it's going to take a few hours, right? Because one of the main mechanisms by which estrogens lower testosterone is by negative feedback loop, meaning they lower luteinizing hormone. There's other pathways, but that's the main one. So when you block estrogens, you remove the breaks off of luteinizing hormone, which leads to increased testosterone. But that takes a couple hours because there's about a 40 minute to an hour lag time between luteinizing hormone release from the brain and testosterone production from the testes. Next, talking to an attractive female. That increases testosterone within seconds to minutes, up to 40% in one study. And this is another thing that's been shown over and over and over again in the literature. It is very consistent. Whenever you put men in the room with an attractive female, especially if the men are obviously motivated by sex and not gay, they get a huge increase in testosterone. The testosterone increase is even bigger if the men have previous experience with uh, females, which is why I always tell guys, do not stay home all day. Always put yourself in situations where you're surrounded by women, where you're interacting with them. You don't have to flirt. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just being around attractive females increases testosterone within seconds to minutes which once again makes sense if you look at the evolution of the human race that's your brain telling you hey there's a female there's an attractive potential partner in the room let me increase your testosterone so that your anxiety goes down your dht goes up your dopamine goes up your motivation goes up and you're more likely to do things to impress her right and sure enough that's exactly what we see whenever you put an attractive female in the room surrounded by guys the men start doing a whole bunch of stuff to try to impress the female if it's a skateboarding ring they start doing riskier flips if it's a normal room they start bragging about their achievements you guys know what i'm talking about guys when we were teenagers we saw that all the time right you're hanging out with your friends hot woman walks in every guy starts acting like a freaking idiot trying to one-up each other that's testosterone working and when the woman goes away testosterone levels go right back down which once again shows you that testosterone evolved for sexual activity for sexual conquest next looking at an attractive female also increases testosterone right so that's just looking not talking not interacting just looking at an attractive female it can give you up to a 10 percent increase in testosterone very similar to the reason i explained earlier and in some studies just having women around led to a 20 to 40 percent difference in testosterone levels in one very interesting study that i quoted several times they compared men who were in all boys schools compared to men who were in schools that had obviously women around and the men who were in the all boys school had significantly lower testosterone levels than the men who were in schools where they were allowed to look at women not surprisingly so once again as a man you should always surround yourself with other competing men and also attractive women that's how we evolved as a species next no fab i already mentioned this that's a myth I have so many videos on that debunking every aspect of it. So I'm not going to beat a dead horse over it. No fab does not increase testosterone. It actually decreases testosterone. If, if you look at the entire body of literature, not just one or two cherry picked studies. And I better not hear anything about that 45% no fab study that I debunked so many times. Next, clapping cheeks, right? Obviously, I can't put the corresponding image here, but you guys know what I'm talking about. That increases testosterone both within seconds to minutes and also in the hours afterwards. A lot of literature on this, right? So, so much for the semen retention idiots out there. Every experiment with men's testosterone levels were measured before and after sex showed a huge, not small, huge increase in testosterone. And I've referenced those studies so many times. 
You have the 70% increase study. You have the one where the guy got a 109% increase, meaning his testosterone doubled. And not only we see this in humans, but we see this in animals as well. Again, common sense. Next, looking at porn, that goes in the exact same category as looking at attractive females. It leads to an increase in testosterone that is seen within seconds to minutes. Again, a lot of studies on this. In fact, I made a video years ago about the study where men looked at erotic clips right before the gym. And not only they got a huge increase in testosterone, but their performance went up. Their squat three rem max actually went up in perfect correlation with how big the testosterone increase was. Now, to be fair, they didn't ejaculate in that study because that will, again, release prolactin, which will bring the testosterone spike right back down, which defeats the purpose. But you get the point. Once again, men have evolved to bring out their best whenever they see females or whenever they see people having sex. I know it sounds crazy. I know it goes against everything that you've heard, but don't shoot the messenger. That is human biology and human evolution 101. We've evolved to get a huge increase in testosterone whenever we see attractive women or whatever we see somebody else clapping the daylights out of an attractive female's cheeks why because it motivates the organism and motivates the male to want to improve so that he can conquer that male and take the woman from him i could make a whole video explaining the psychology behind porn it is one of the most misunderstood things in the entire world in men's evolutionary past guys porn was all around us all around us it wasn't on your phone it wasn't on your computer it was literally in front of us Low-ranking males had to wake up every day during mating season and see the alpha male clapping the crap out of 90% of the female's cheeks. And the low-ranking males had to sit there and do two things. Either cry like little and beat their meats, which is what a lot of you are doing, or they got the motivation and the increase in testosterone to level up so that one day those very same females could be theirs. That's why I fast forward to today and men are addicted to pornography because our brain has evolved to prioritize sex above all else. That's why if you're driving and you look out the window, obviously it's illegal today, but if you're driving or you're just walking down the park and you look to the side and you see a guy clapping his girl's cheeks on the street, 99% of you guys will look, right? You might look away after that, but you will look. It's gonna be your first instinct to be like, holy shit, what the hell is this? It's evolutionary biology and evolutionary psychology 101. The only problem is that today, Men do not know how to channel that drive. They do not know how to channel that libido. And they just stay home and look at pixels all day and then masturbate all day like a bunch of idiots, right? So that's why I always say it's a symptom. It's not a problem. Learn how to channel that sex drive so that you could be free from porn addiction. Next, the last two things, competing for status. Again, if you watch my videos, you already know where this is going. That increases testosterone within seconds to minutes. It doesn't matter what the competition is. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. As you're competing, your T levels will go up astronomically in some studies. And obviously, whether you win or lose, that's going to lead to different responses depending on the people, right? Some people actually get an increase in testosterone even after they lose, and some get a huge drop in testosterone. I can make videos explaining exactly why that is. But the actual act of competing while you're competing for status, your T levels go up astronomically higher than any other method that we've seen. doesn't matter if it's a physical competition or a mental competition. As long as your brain, specifically your hypothalamus and your amygdala, processes a threat to your status, it could be a video game, it could be a card game, it could be a, a, a MMA fight, you get a huge increase in testosterone to make you protect your status. And last and least, because I'm heavily against TRT and PEDs on this channel, we have injecting you know what. I had to include it on a list because a small percentage of my viewers are obviously enhanced. That's going to increase testosterone, obviously, anywhere from minutes to hours, depending on the ester. If it's a long-acting ester, obviously, it's going to take hours before you notice a significant increase in your serum testosterone levels. If it's a short-acting ester or if it's just pure testosterone, so let's say suspension, for instance, you're going to get a very, very fast increase in your serum testosterone levels. So I'm going to put that between a couple of hours and seconds to minutes. Again, it depends on what ester you're using. That's it, guys. Hope the video helped. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and grab a copy of the ebook to support the channel. I'm out of here.